Shaders are cool. F5 Chaser, and thank you. Yeah, I'm quite inspired now to learn more shader stuff. It's a very interesting area, and I encourage you, there's a lot of good tutorials out there on this. Uh, Cat Like Coding, Jasper Flick does some great text-based ones. Alan Zucconi does some great text-based ones. And then also Daniel Doan, who has a channel called Making Stuff Look Good in Unity uh, on YouTube, is terrific. Does some great um, shader tutorials on there and, and does a case studies with like, you know, games like Overwatch and Hearthstone, looking at like how they achieve certain effects, which I find really cool and informative. So I encourage you to check out uh, all of those resources as well. Yes, Copperfield, the vector lines are uh, painted. They're in the texture, not in the shader. That's a, potentially a little misleading. They're in the texture themselves. I actually wanted to do a wireframe texture like that and was talking to my colleague who writes shaders and he was like yeah actually it's not that simple you would have to generate another copy of the mesh and do a bunch of stuff so unless it was like a big thing i it, it's easier just to paint the texture yeah and you can actually another thing that's interesting is you can download let me let me post the link that you can download the um the unity shader source here on the download archive If you go to, ooh, 562 is out. Um, you can download the built-in shaders and look at the source code for them. And there's a lot in there. You can look at the unlit shaders and transparent shaders, and you can look at how they're done, all the default Unity shaders, right? These, uh, the ones that you see in here, right? All of this stuff. You can look at the source for them, like these particle shaders, additive, alpha blended, all this stuff. You can look at how those are created um, and, you know, get some ideas from the source there. And you can get it at uh, the page I just showed. Yeah, and that's worth mentioning, right? If you guys are interested in getting into shaders more and you want to use a graphical editor, there are third-party tools like Shader Forge or Amplify Shader Editor on the Unity Asset Store that are not super expensive uh, that you can use to do node-based shader editing. Unity doesn't currently support that um, as a first-party tool, uh, but those are options in terms of third-party tools in the Asset Store that are that a lot of people use and like. 